there's something not quite right about last year's presidential election. That unease is taking a toll on President Obama's popularity and his credibility. Here's my take. Three issues have surfaced that suggest manipulation and deception ahead of last year's re-election of President Obama. One. The intimidation of conservative groups by the IRS. We haven't gotten to the bottom of that yet, but there is clear evidence that the president's political opponents were, shall we say, leaned on. It did affect the vote. Two, Obamacare. The president knew that millions of people would not be able to keep the health plan they liked. He didn't tell us because it would have cost him a lot of support. His deception clearly affected the vote. Third, today there are reports that the jobless numbers were manipulated in the president's favor right before the election. The unemployment rate did indeed suddenly drop below the all-important 8% level. Add all of this up, and you have an election that was affected by what used to be called dirty tricks. It's beginning to rub off on the president. His approval rating has dropped to a new low for his presidency, and a clear and growing majority opposes his signature program, Obamacare. But worst of all, his credibility is in free fall. Now, his opponents should not be cheering. It is not good when America's president loses the trust of the country. All right, I know this is wishful thinking, but I'm going to do it anyway. Repeal and replace Obamacare. Cut tax rates. Go get the energy, which is ours. Return to individual responsibility and freedom. Do all of that, Mr. President, and you could bask in the glory of prosperity and liberty, the way America ought to be.